Hello, my name is Christian Verstraten, and I'm the Chief Technologist for Cloud Strategy at Hewlett Packard. Earlier today, I was looking in an RFP for cloud. And one of the little items was that the data needed to reside in Germany. Yesterday, I was on a call about a pharmaceutical cloud. And somebody told me after I asked him what a pharmaceutical cloud meant, that FDA and other agencies have a lot of difficulty accepting environments where multiple customers are actually managed on the same infrastructure. In other words, multi-tenant environments. I could go on like that. I actually downloaded a couple of days ago the BSA Global Cloud Computing Scorecard, which you may have seen, and it's really worth reading, that discusses the 24 key countries in the world as far as ICT revenue is concerned, and how they stack legislatively spoken compared to cloud. Because on the one hand, we have this whole vision of cloud to be truly global. But at the same time, there's a lot of limitations, being it from a geographical perspective, from a legal perspective, from a compliance perspective, and I can name them, that actually are limiting ourselves as far as our capabilities of cloud. So do we need to end up building a global cloud in every country? In other words, a geographically dispersed cloud where we can leave in every country what is actually needed in that particular country. And if that is what we're supposed to do, what are the implications of that on a cost basis or on any other basis? Now, what's a little bit humorous in that is that particularly in smaller and medium businesses, most people are not aware from those limitations and just don't care about them. And they do things on Amazon and they do things on Google and on other places without actually realizing they're not in line with legislative requirements. And nothing seems to happen. So what's the point? Do we need to follow the rule, which is what I've always learned, what I've always been told? Or should we just forget about it to go for a truly global cloud, which is actually the vision of what we want to implement? It's a really interesting problem. I know Nelly Cruz from the European Union has decided and, pushing, and is pushing the EU to come up with a consistent regulation around the 27 countries of Europe that will actually help things on a European basis. But by the way, Europe is not the only one that has problems. If you look at the US, some of the legislation in the US is by state, some even by county. So it's all over the place that something needs to happen. To, for cloud really to be able to give its capabilities, to address its fundamental needs, you and I are going to need to do something. We're going to need to make sure that we can actually tap into all the requirements we have and all the capabilities we have in cloud, while at the same time making sure that we're not being stuck by legal barriers. What do you think about it? Do you agree with my analysis? And how should we go after it? Thanks. Hope to hear from you soon.